Well, folks, WWE Crown Jewel is just around the corner, and I mean that literally in this case, because as of this recording, we are just a mere few hours away from the next premium live event. This time it's taking place in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Can you feel the excitement? Can you feel it? Can you absolutely just feel the excitement? Just ready to run down your face and just, you know, leave you with such a big smile on your face? Can you feel it calling in the air tonight? Oh no. But before we talk about the next premium live event, again, from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, I really hope the talents are safe over there and they get back safely. We got to talk about this show that was taped last week, but from a match quality standpoint, started strong, ended stronger. Let's get to it, shall we? I'm John Renton with my review, WWE SmackDown, and yes, even though it was taped, from a match quality standpoint, this actually turned out to be decent. I'm not saying the show was great, but... I'll take what we got here over what we've gotten on some SmackDown shows. But again, there was still a lot of filler, and I still barely know her. In regards to the Crown Jewel review, I will be reviewing it, but I'm not going to be watching the show live. Why? A paycheck's more important. So the review will be up sometime, I don't know, Saturday evening. So anyway, Liv gets a pop, and Liv faces Sonya in a new DQ match, weapons are legal, all that stuff, just go out and beat each other with furniture and do all that stuff, and normally I'd be super critical of it, and don't get me wrong, I, I could be, I could be, and I'm not going to say that they should have just, you know, brought out all the furniture and everything, but I get why they did, because at least they built this up for a few weeks. Now, WWE, AEW, New Japan, and numerous companies sometimes will just throw that shit out there with very little build, <clears throat> and it will get almost nauseatingly dull. But in this case, it made sense. Liv has been, you know, amping it up with the extreme characters. The best Sonya has looked. And two leather-clad women fisting, topping, pounding, and ready to just dominate each other. I mean, just ready to just, just pull each other's hair. You know, pull each, just pull, pull back and everything. Make them feel it. Make them beg for it. And I lost my train of thought. I think I was talking about wrestling. At one point, one woman pulls out the strap or the stick. They decide to stick each other repeatedly. Make each other feel it deep in their guts. In all seriousness, these two women actually did hate other pretty goddamn hard. This was Sonya at uh, her best in a while, and Liv has been uh, dramatically improving. And has certainly bounced back from losing to uh, Rousey the Raccoon. Two dives, Liv then is about to get German suplex on the table and says, Ha! Huh, I'm gonna go with you, and ow! You need your spine, but I absorbed uh, the impact on my spine with your spine, so ha 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 ha! And then Sonya hits two nice knees, one off the second rope. That was pretty nice. <clears throat> and then we get a chair pile. Sonya power bombs Liv on the chairs, but Liv would not be denied. Hits Oblivion, one, two, three, and there you go. Good opener match. I'm not gonna say it was great. But the crowd was into it. People popped for Liv. There were points where the company was messing with the audio, but this wasn't one of them. This was people like Liv and Sonya got the crowd to hate her, so it accomplished what it needed to. <clears throat> Megan's backstage. Emma, my goodness, looked great. God damn, she looked... I mean, she always looks great anyway, but she looked especially good here. She's talking about how she lost to Rousey the Raccoon, which I'm going to keep calling her because her makeup looks ridiculous. Uh, Rousey, that is, not Emma. And then Zaya jumps in and says, well, you know, you lost, you always lose. <clears throat> and I'm not knocking Zaya, but the way Zaya's been presented, she looks great. She wrestles pretty well. I would like her to kick me in the face and or crush me with her thighs, but that's another story for another day. Dear God, that clip is going to get taken out of context if anybody snips that out. And then Emma shoves Zaya because she's tired of hearing from her. Now, I have no problem with these two having a feud, but the thing is... It, have you picked better verbiage? Zaya's like, you've been gone for a while. I'm I'm better than you, and I'm going to prove it. Instead of, like, you lost when Zaya's lost a whole bunch of times. And that's, not, again, not her fault, but <clears throat> whatever. And then the Rowe Raiders, a.k.a. Eric Ivar and Sarah Rowe, a.k.a. Valhalla, they're preparing for the Great Race War. I'm going to keep saying that about Sarah Rowe, because Sarah Rowe deserves to have her child ripped from her goddamn arms. Look at some of the posts that are still floating around about... How she ain't exactly the most progressive thinker in the world. And she ain't the only wrestler who thinks that way. But I ain't going to take it easy on her just because she's a woman. She deserves every bit of ridicule that she gets. And then some. You stupid, dumb twat. You shouldn't have been allowed to have children. So anyway, L.A. Knight knocks uh, Samantha Irvin's uh, introduction. And says that kind of introduction may have <clears throat> might be good enough for this gymnastic jerk. And then Ricochet dives on them. Don't you mess with my woman. They have a match where it was fine. It, it was fine. L.A. Knight, at least I got him away from the Models gimmick. It's just so stupid that Vince had him doing that. And it was one of the dumbest damn things. 
Like, it should have immediately been dropped the instant Triple H took over. I mean, the instant he took over. Because this Maximum Male Models thing was stupid. <laughs> and they're still trying to continue it. And it's dumb. We don't need more dumb stables in wrestling across all of wrestling. It was a match. It was fine. And I, I have a hard time caring about anything Ricochet does because he's always chasing, uh, you know, chasing uh, controversy, if you know what I mean. Roll up with the ropes. One, two, three. The Usos are going to call out Ridge and Peter Doon, and Sammy says, don't do it, don't do it, you're about to go to Crown Jewel, don't do it. So, <clears throat> Bray has spoopy music in the background, a guy interrupts him, and he is tortured by his voices, and he's about to, he, he compares him to a guy cutting him off in traffic, and how you just want to have 30 seconds with the guy to beat the <clears throat> holy hell out of him. So just apologize, and the guy apologizes, he's like, don't worry, I understand. So he's having a tortured soul moment and everything, eh, yeah, whatever. At least he has a miracle of a video editor. So, um, <clears throat> the Usos are here. They're going to be the longest reigning tag team champions soon. And uh, New Day then come out and say they got next. Whether it's you or Ridge and Peter Doon. Ridge and Peter Doon show up and then we get a beatdown. Sammy and uh, Solo show up and it's just big old schmoz and everything. We'll see you next this weekend for the Royal Rumble. Kayla then talks to Ray about uh, the match with Gunther. And then Shayna beat Natty in a match that nobody really cared about. They like Natty, and I like that they're trying to rehabilitate Shayna. <clears throat> they're putting her with Rousey the Raccoon, and it's not... I get why they're putting them together as a pair, but nobody cares about Ronda. At least the vast majority of people don't. And she wins with the Barracuda Clutch. I know what it's called, but it sounds better to say Barracuda Clutch. And then Ronda says, use the knee. So she used the knee. And then Natty took an arrow to the knee, and also... it. Now, that might have been legit blood, but it looked too red. It looked more like a blood capsule. If it was real blood, I hope Natty's all right. If it was a blood capsule, make less red blood capsules. Make it look realistic. Not her, but just in general. <laughs> Package on McIntyre and Cross, which is a match I don't care about. Recaps of last year's, or la last year's, last week's, uh, or this Raw's bullshit title change in the main event. Alexa has no business being a champion at all. MVP is here to talk about Braun versus Edward James Olmos. He has five opponents for Braun. They come out. Braun runs him over. Beats up MVP after catching him. Hits two power slams. That's it. And then Gunther says that uh, he will destroy Ray and then he will implement the final phase of his plan. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Next week, SmackDown World Cup. Meaning the finals will be two SmackDown wrestlers, one World Cup. You're welcome for that. You're welcome. It's seared into your skull. Nakamura versus Escobar, and then Zelina talked. Can, did they get Zelina a couple booster seats so she could be seen on camera? Gunther versus Ray, Intercontinental Championship match. Look, it was big man, little man stuff. Ray kept fighting back as Gunther kept beating him down. <clears throat> there were some good spots. This is a real good thing uh, to check out. In fact, this is the best match that they've had on TV in a while. I mean, they had this and Sheamus versus Gunther, so actually, this was well, this is actually a little bit better than that, in my personal opinion, because I think they had a better match at Clash at the Castle. There was a Rana spot and a few other uh, good moments, a couple close near falls. <clears throat> Gunther hits one powerbomb, one to kick out. What the hell? So then he eventually counters the 619 with a big boot and then a pop up lariat. He just pulls Ray up and ha! Knocks him down. One, two, three. Gunther retains. Let Gunther have the championship and break the Honky Tonk Man's record because nobody wants to see the Honky Tonk Man as the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion, my opinion. But anyway, that's all I got to say about SmackDown. On the Crown Jewel, again, review will be up hours after the show is done because sweet, sweet dollar. Agree, disagree, what I said, like, share, subscribe, Twitter handle in the description. I'm John Rentland. I'll see you soon.